Welcome. Um, I'm delighted to be here today to represent the Regional Studies Association as its president. I'm uh, really honored to give the award um, this year, the Sir Peter, Sir Peter Hall Award for lifetime contributions in the field. Um, previous winners of the Sir Peter, Sir Peter Hall Award include luminaries such as Susan Feinstein from the Harvard Graduate School of Design, Mary Gertler from the University of Toronto, Saskia Sasson from Columbia University, Brian Robson from the University of Manchester, um, and um, uh, John Goddard from the University of Newcastle. A very worthy 2021 winner is a scholar with a long-term long research interests in urban restructuring, uh, geographical political economy, uh, labor studies, the politics of policy formation and, and mobility, and economic geography in general. His current research is focused on the political economy of regional transformation in South China. So I'm very happy to announce the 2021 winner is Professor Jamie Peck of the University of British Columbia and of Western Sydney University. So congratulations, Jamie, and thank you for being here with us. Uh, Jamie? Thank you, John, um, and uh, thanks to the RSA and, uh, and uh, all our colleagues um, out in the Regional Studies Network. Uh, this was a very um, pleasant surprise to uh, receive in these uh, rather isolated times. Uh, uh, we're used to getting together much more often uh, than we've been able to do uh, in the last uh, year or so. Uh, so this, this uh, coming out of the blue was a very uh, pleasant uh, surprise. Uh, and it's especially um, uh, gratifying to receive award from one's uh, peers, of course, uh, but also from the RSA. Um, the RSA is an organization that I've been uh, uh, involved with as long as I can remember. The first conferences I ever went to were RSA meetings um, in the UK in the uh, mid 1980s, maybe the first five conferences I went to were RSA conferences. Uh, uh, that was very much uh, the world that I uh, grew up in. And um, when it, as we're in uh, entering award season, it feels like I should uh, thank my agent. But um, uh, in the absence uh, of uh, having an agent, uh, I, I'd like to thank um, my collaborators over the years uh, who've uh, made huge contributions to all the projects we've been involved in. Uh, if I can uh, pass on a bit of advice, uh, one of the things that I always say to my students is always work with collaborators that are smarter than you, uh, and that's worked out to be a pretty good uh, career choice for me, uh, or sequence of them. Um, and in terms of the uh, research programme that I've been involved in, in many ways, uh, that got its start in those early RSA meetings um, and with a paper that um, I'd still reread uh, from regional studies uh, in 1979. Doreen Massey's In What Sense a Regional Problem uh, has been a sort of earworm for me uh, ever since and uh, in many respects I'm still trying to answer that uh, question. Um, I started off trying to answer it uh, working for Peter Lloyd at Manchester University in what was then called the Northwest Industry Research Unit. Uh, that gives you a sense of uh, uh, the, what we were working on in those days. In many respects, regions were containers in which our uh, work was focused. Uh, that's been transformed many times uh, over, the, over, the, over successive decades, such that we're uh, not really working on regional problems in that kind of way anymore. Uh, but I think still asking that Doreen Massey question, of what difference regions uh, make. And um, my current project uh, on South China um, is really asking that regional uh, question in a, a different kind of place to those that I've uh, worked on previously anyway, and, and really posing the regional question as a problem for geographical political economy and for conjunctural uh, analysis. Um, what Jun Zhang, uh, my collaborator from the University of Toronto and I are trying to do in our work in South China uh, is to ask what does it mean uh, to bring a dynamic uh, reading of an even and combined development to front stage in regional analysis? 
Um, uh, uneven development is uh, 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 it's often taken for granted in our field. It's a kind of fact of life, if you like. Um, but it, it clearly also structures regional development in a profound way such that it's on the inside of our regional stories as well as on the outside. And, and especially June and I are interested to explore um, the silent sea in uneven and combined development, uh, the process of combination. And South China maybe uh, presents one of the uh, world's uh, biggest uh, conundra about combination at the present time. What kind of combination is being built there? Is it a form of capitalism? Is it a form of socialism that we've never seen before? Uh, is it something that doesn't even have a name? Um, I think we genuinely don't know uh, what kind of stories are unfolding in South China and what the uh, story of the transformation of the so-called Greater Bay Area, um, what kind of story that will actually be? Uh, will it be a story of the powers of innovation? Uh, will it be the story of the powers of networks or the powers of agglomeration? We've got um, uh, strong theories of all of those. Uh, but, or will it be a story of the powers of the state, uh, which are often talked about in pejorative terms, or uh, certainly in the Chinese case, uh, or, or, and that's a, a case where it's very hard to figure out what the positive capacities and limits of the state uh, are. So those are the open questions that we're exploring in this project. Uh, in many ways, I'm still doing regional studies, uh, uh, albeit in a different kind of setting uh, to, the, uh, to uh, the time when I started off my career. And um, I think um, I'm very gratified to receive this award as a, as a mark of some of that. And so finally, uh, once again, I'd like to thank uh, this, uh, the RSA and I'd like to thank John very much for, uh, for uh, making this presentation. Jamie, congratulations uh, once again, and thanks for your uh, for your speech. I, I found that really uh, really interesting and, and inspiring. It was really nice to see you, and uh, thank everyone who's watching this for joining us virtually today. And goodbye.